Hello traders and investors, welcome to the Operation Small Account Growth performance review of the first week of year 2021. My name is Jukka Karinen, I'm from Option Investors and I'm happy to have you with me in this week's performance review. The agenda this week is that we go through the actions, so new and modified positions, out of, of which we have seven, and then 11 closed positions. We check the current portfolio holdings and how they're doing, and then we check the results, so weekly and total results of this operation, and also the performance and statistics numbers, including a benchmark against the S&P 500 index. So let's check the new positions on week, on this week, basically. Uh, we have seven of these, so here's the three first ones. So we went along the IWM, so the Russell 2000 ETF, February, March, 205 calendar calls. Uh, the IWM fell somewhere close to the 20 period simple moving average. So I set the calendar around the higher Bollinger Band and gave it seven weeks time to get up there. Well, knowing how the week went, that was, <laughs> that was like done in one day or so. Uh, didn't get much profit out of these calendars at all, but still a profit. Then I went long silver September $26 calls, thinking that as the US government is creating new dollars all the time, I simply started building a longer term position in silver. And knowing that silver dipped towards the end of this week, I'm thinking about maybe adding, maybe not just yet, but I'm anyway, I'm looking to build this posi position. This is not the only, only time I'm going to buy silver. I went long Lowe's company, February 19, February 5, 175 calendar calls, $175 is pretty much the all time high. And this is based on a technical trigger that has over 80% hit, pro uh, hit probability over the, I believe it's a three year testing period that I use for this one. And, and basically we have rather deep dip from October highs and now we're starting to bounce back up. Uh, Lowe's is in a top, top sector and top industry it has good value and growth for the company. So I feel quite secure about this one here and the calendar of course makes it cheaper to play this kind of bigger stocks on this small account so the risk is not not very meaningful or i believe it was around 70 cents per per spread and very good uh, reward risk ratio on these ones then i went long cohen uh, April 30 calls. This is a uh, rather high short interest stock in a very strong bull trend, a bullish trend. And it is, it just broke out of it. It's not really a bull flag. It's more a bull pennant. Uh, I wrote it wrong in here. Really strong fundamentals for this company. And I've basically had a, this is basically just saying hi to an old friend. I've traded Cohen before on the way up and I'm trading it again. Uh, General Motors, June 50 calls. Uh, General Motors has dipped a bit uh, during December. And now in the beginning of January, we started moving back up with the markets bouncing quite strongly on the first week. So the idea is to see if this, uh, see this move up and then make new highs. At some point it starts consolidating again and I'll be turning it to a calendar spread or diagonal spread. I have some GM risk already, so I'm just adding a bit more here. Uh, Pinterest, May, February, $100 calls, quite far out of the money. Uh, Pinterest is back above the uh, Bollinger Band Center and pushed against the higher Bollinger Band 2, looking at the Bollinger Band squeeze to uh, fire to the long side. There are squeezes on different time frames to uh, adding some more Pinterest risk. I also reduce some of the Pinterest risk to keep things in control. Uh, I had some calls expiring next week's Friday and I don't like to hold until the end. So I, I cut those off. Uh, 
Michael's companies, this, these are short calls, seventeen and a half dollars. So I'm basically moving the, uh, rolling the fifteen dollar short calls forward. And the price action got rather close, fifteen already. Uh, so I'm just moving it forward, moving it upward, thinking that maybe I'll have <laughs> better luck taking the uh, taking the premium out of these than I had with the fifteen dollar calls. The trades that I closed on this week for wins, we have the Pinterest call spread that I opened in November. I've been rolling the shorts onwards a few times, uh, almost plus 200%, 195. Uh, XLB call spread, spread from November, 258%. Also here I've rolled the short short strikes forward quite a few times, taking quite a, quite a nice amount of premium in. IJH call spread from December, um, 216%. EBIX call spread from December, only 18%. This went quite quite fast past the short strike, so that cut my profit potential quite strongly. Um, still a good company and a good trend. Maybe the next time it pauses a bit, I'll revisit this trade. XLB calls from December, uh, 21%. 21%. I didn't have the time to work on the short calls so much on this side before XLB started really, really running. Blast, blast very far past the short strike, so I needed to close this down. The long calls would have had still two more months to go, so well, too bad, but profit is profit. IWM call spread. I believe uh, <laughs> this took just one tr one day to reach the the center point of the calendar spread, so I took it off there for profit. SMH call spread from December. That was a calendar as well. I took it off for thirty two percent because I didn't think that SMH would keep running. Well, it did, so kind of missed some profits in there too. But well, thirty two percent is really solid anyway. XLC short calls, I closed them for 73% uh, profit. And ELY calls from December, 21% uh, profit. For losses, I took the MAK, uh, so Michael's company short calls. I needed to roll them forward, took a, uh, a rather big 277% loss. Well, actually, it was just $55, so not big at all. I could maybe think uh, about not doing these short calls on this kind of like low price stock because if 277 almost 300 percent is 50 dollars you can see that i don't know my max victory could have been around 20 dollars that's not very interesting at all it's more like i was just following my overall procedure and not thinking about the prices that much at all didn't make much sense to do this well but it's still a spread also today well, let's see how it goes. The Pinterest call spread from January. Uh, I took a small loss on this one, 26%. I believe this represents pretty much the same amount in euros, so not huge. Open positions we've got for long term, we've got the Beezer Homes down from 8% profit to 3% profit. Uh, Ford went slightly up previous week, plus 15, now plus 27. General Motors, these new calls, plus 2% now. The previous calls from General Motors until next year's January, from minus 12 to plus 7%, so up. Uh, Turtle Beach down from uh, plus 27 to only plus 11. Mattel uh, from plus 87% up to plus 113%. Michael's company from plus 13 to plus 29 Pinterest, these uh, longest term calls that I have from plus four, 140% to plus 187%. Very nice there. And the silver, well, dipped on Friday, really, really big. So minus 24%. Looking to add maybe when the drop stops and the price action turns hopefully back up. For mid term, AMD calendars from minus 7 up up to plus eight cohen new course minus three percent i've got time until april so no no rush in there 
XLC calls from plus 13 down to plus 9. This is still consolidating right, un right under all time highs and the Bollinger Bands are really, really tight. Uh, so I'm looking for these to start moving up. XLC basically has companies like uh, Google and Facebook in it. So, well, eventually those companies will start moving up and at the point the, the squeeze will probably fire and I'm looking for that to happen before before uh, let's say before the february monthly expirations because i don't like to so often hold until the last month pinterest uh the calendar that i set minus set this week minus 10 percent and the second page of open positions for short term we've got the low uh february spread plus 11 percent and the pinterest February calls from 39% loss up to only minus 11%. I hope interest continues going up so that I can take this off for nice profit in a couple of weeks time. Snapchat from minus 33% loss to uh, minus 14% loss. So positive move here. Cash flow from short term options. I've got the Michaels company calls here. Well, actually, the Michaels company is a diagonal call spread, but for now, I'm handling this as a two as two separate positions. This is a new trade plus thirty three percent. I've got twenty five percent of my accounts in cash today, so looking to uh, see where the market start moving after the rather uh, rather explosive first week and then start deploying some more risk in the markets. For results, we've got here the first week, January 21. So from the last trading day of last year forward to this week's Friday, it was a really strong week for the markets and for our portfolio as well. A movement from 6,400 ish to 7,400, something like that, almost 16% up. SP 500 gained uh, 2%, slightly under during the same period. Uh, the December additional 1,000 arrived, so the account balance is actually now 8.4 thousand. I did not like you, so I didn't deploy any of this cash either yet. So, so, so this is the kind of the profit that I made, made on the old old account size the total for these 13 weeks now is uh, from 2300 more or less to 8400 and change and here is how the account balance on blue and the growth numbers look the growth is on a range so the account balance of course this includes the 1000 dollar sorry 1000 euro monthly additions here so this is slightly more flat at this point. The compounding hasn't really started to work that much yet to our advantage, but that, that will come. The performance here is we've got 80% success rate and close positions, 59% portfolio growth during this uh, 13 weeks. S&P 500 grew 11% in the same time, so we have something like 5.3 times S&P 500 growth. And here's how the uh, the growth percentage looks like. So, so the beginning was flat, like we saw in the account balance graphs. November was super strong, strong, and December has been chopping here. Of course, since the account is growing all the time, the balance is getting up. So, well, still very solid numbers. I'm somewhere at 60. Well, I did. I think I mentioned that just here, like 59% portfolio growth in three full months now. That's, I like that very much. Good performance, at least for me it is. If we check the average results and extrapolate a bit, that would mean that we're roughly 25% monthly growth. And if we like keep adding 1000 per month, that let's take a starting point at 2,300, slightly under. The third month, according to this bit, we would need to be at 8.3K, slightly under. We are actually at 8.4. So we are growing a bit faster than this bit here. At six month point, we would be, if we can keep this bit up at $20,000, sorry, not dollars, but euros. 
at nine months point forty two thousand uh, twelve. Okay, well, <laughs> I thought I had those twelve months numbers too. So here's how that would look like. I believe the numbers come here. This is slightly illogic, but anyway, the twelfth month would be slightly under, uh, well, slightly under ninety or slightly above eighty five. And then at, at two years point, the portfolio would be somewhere around 1.3 million. Let's see if I can keep the speed up. I hope I can. Would be quite cool to turn slightly above 2000 into more than 1 million in two years. That would be really, really good. And I would be very happy with that. Even if it takes three years, I would still be, I would still be very stoked, of course. If you want to learn more about us or this challenge or how I should check the font size to keep this from happening, you can go to optioninvestors.club. And um, well, that's our actual website address. It may not look like that, but HTTPS optioninvestors.club. You will find our website there. My name is Jukka Karinen and I'm wishing you a very, very solid second trading week of year 2021. Take it easy and keep rocking.